I'm Jennifer Arnold, and the film is called A Small Act. And give me a two-line description of the film. Two lines. Uh, this is a film about gratitude, where a kid who was once sponsored when he was a child goes and finds his benefactor and comes up with a very special way to thank her. And what's your credit on the film? I'm the director and a producer and a craft service, production audio. It's a documentary, so uh, director, that's the main credit. And tell me how you found your way to the story. I went, I lived in, uh, in Kenya. I went to University of Nairobi for my year abroad when I was an undergraduate. And my dorm mate was Jane Wanjiro Mwigai, who's in the film. And I wanted to sponsor a kid in Kenya, so I called her and said, who's a good organization? And she said that her and her cousin were starting a, a fund that was going to sponsor kids. And they told me the story, and I knew it would be a beautiful documentary. And um, I'm curious, you know, was there a moment with creating this film that went a different way than you expected, <laughs> either in production or in the editing room? What was the There twist? are several moments in this film that went a different way than I was expecting. There was some violence that happened in Kenya that we weren't expecting at all, and we had to go back and make that part of the story because it really impacted things. And also, part of the story is following three kids who are applying for a scholarship for Chris's Fund, and there are some twists and turns in their storyline that I will not reveal. You'll have to see the movie, but we were not expecting them at all. Got it. If you had $10,000 extra, dollars, what would you do with it as far as with this film? Ten thousand extra dollars. Uh huh. What would you use it for? I, I mean, I think that I would give it to some some kids. I've been in the village filming all these kids who are trying to get an education. Mm -hmm. It made a huge impact on me, and I would I would make sure more kids get education. What does it mean for you to play this at the Sundance Film Festival? Having this film at the Sundance Film Festival is sort of a dream, and I'm really glad that it's going to get out there. It's also going to be on HBO, I think, in the summer. Mm -hmm. So uh, there's a couple ways for people to see it. Got it. And I don't know if you've had time to check out the catalog. Is there anything else you're looking forward to seeing while you're here? Oh, God. All of the documentaries, especially the ones that are in competition, those are the ones that I've read about and a couple of the other ones in the, um, in the world competition, those are the ones I'm most excited to see. The programmers have been telling me that they're really, really great. So I, I, Waiting for Superman is the one that I keep hearing is a fantastic film and, and actually deals with education, so I really want to see that. You, I saw it this morning. It's a good companion piece to yours. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I've been hearing really great things about it. Okay, now we're going to talk about your work. What's the first film you remember seeing as a child? Mary Poppins was the first film that I remember seeing as a child. Oh, I think I think my parents took me to see Apocalypse Now when I was like nine months old. So, <laughs> tell me about a film that affected you profoundly or changed or inspired the way you do your own work. Uh, when I saw Woman Under the Influence, I hated it so much. I just hated Cassavetti's films, and then I could never ever forget them. And uh, one of the things that I really appreciate about that movie, even though it's not a documentary, is that. It's a bunch of people that felt like they must have been coming together and working really hard together, and then that film has become a classic, and I think for some reason that film stays with me more than any other because I'm constantly making films in my garage with two of my friends, and we hope that they can sort of have a lasting impact and stay with an audience. And when you're feeling creatively stumped or burnt out, what do you do to get the juices going again? Well, if I'm feeling creatively stumped, then I just have to start with the gym and then hope that that can get the adrenaline going, and then just keep working because eventually I know that something will sort itself out. Excellent.